Hi, welcome to 15th Century Spinning. Sometimes I get asked a variety of questions and I try to answer them where I can but I thought I would do a quick video on one of the questions I do get asked because it's a bit hard to explain. And the question is, how do I keep my distaff up when I'm sitting down and I don't have my distaff through my belt? If I'm just resting it against a chair, it's a bit hard. Um, what I would really love is a standing distaff stand. At a recent event I popped my distaff through a friend's chair because it had a hole in the middle of it, by design, um, and that worked fantastically. So a little stool with a hole, perfect. Don't usually have one of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my face out of this video now and just move the camera down so you can actually see my legs because it's actually my legs that I hold my distaff with. Now I just moved my skirts aside so that you can see a little bit better but put the distaff on the ground, put my foot or my leg in front of the distaff and I wrap my foot around the back of it just like that and if I let go I've actually got pretty good control of my distaff, put my foot on the ground, put my skirts back and my elbow pulls the distaff in and my foot pushes the distaff out and um, between the two of them um, it, it works really well and my hands in the perfect position to spin. Another thing I have seen in manuscripts is to put the distaff between your legs. Angle it like that and spin that way. That works as well. I prefer to wrap my foot just because I feel it's a bit more sturdy. It might be to do with the length of my distaff as well. It puts my wool where I need it a little bit more accurately. Um, but however you do it, works for you. Um, if you want to share in the comments below how you like to use your distaff when sitting, let me know. And thanks for watching.